mud architecture as well as bamboo architecture anything to do with natural hyacinth hyacinth pinto uh, <laughs> architect and uh, a person who many uh, name many in goa know in the field of architecture tell us about your work hyacinth yeah so i work in the field of sustainable architecture so anything that comes under that purview for example restoration of old homes readaptation of uh, abandoned homes for their new use to give them a new life mud architecture bamboo architecture all natural materials anything to do with natural materials and um, materials that are recycled into building material of the beaten track yes completely of the beaten track mostly <laughs> When so, it comes to restoring old homes, what are the biggest challenges someone who's not here, maybe a expat or diasporic Goan, would face? Um, they would face problems of not knowing what is happening on the ground. So what we do is we document the existing structures first of all properly, thoroughly, yeah. like measure it up, photograph it, document what is the condition, send it to them. Then they can uh, give us the feedback of how much and tell them how much of uh, money might have to be put into that. then they give us the feedback of what their budget can be and then accordingly we start the work but we have a full time person there who's uh, looking after the stuff we lock everything that they have in one room which will be done last so the best room is checked and secured and then we start working and then we open that last room and get things done permissions how easy or difficult or impossible is it in today permissions are easier for old houses existing houses to repair because you are repairing them and you are restoring them so it's much easier to get than than even building a new house So corruption is often spoken about uh yes but you don't need to buy into that because it is uh, somebody is not putting their hands in your pocket and taking out the money or you you are putting yeah. your hand into your own wallet you should not be in a hurry no yes Probably. you should follow the uh, i mean timelines yeah. there are timelines if you want to expedite something you're jumping the queue and to jump the queue you're you paying pay but you, yeah you're paying for it but you you have to realize that you're getting somebody else's file back so you're not doing something good you if you have to be fair so you wait your time it will happen if you if somebody else is keeping your file at the back and not taking it in time that's a different matter so you can always pursue and say i put in my file 20 days ago 30 days ago why hasn't it gone into the you know meetings whatever last question tell us something about your family roots in eden actually i was born here yeah my uh, two older siblings two of them were born in eden uh, i was born in porvorim But talk your dad must hospital. have been. Parents must have been talking about it. Yes, they did talk about their life in Eden, and uh, yeah, I guess it was a good life. My father was superintendent of the port trust there, yeah. and when he was here in Goa, he was already retired. But he was a very active uh, person with uh, social life. He was a president. He was founder president of Porvorim Lions Club. Uh, he was the president of the Komnidad. He was a sarpanch for fifteen years, five years. What Pinto? Know. What Pinto? your dad joseph pinto no? joseph pinto yeah 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 so yeah. yeah so he was very very active and so growing up in goa in the 60s and 70s what do you remember of it oh it was fun growing up in goa was fun i remember go, the beach life going to the beach we used to have a holiday home we used to take up a holiday home every uh, May. So, yeah soon after the exams in fact the day the exams were over we'd be out on the beach and come back just before the school started i see so there's two months for like spent on the beach and it was so different there we used very to have rural, the shacks very rustic. yeah we had the shacks and we used to spend most of our time on the shacks you fruits know, on the hill the wild yeah, wild berries and cajus collecting cajus and getting chased by the kaskars and <laughs> all those things <laughs> the omnipotent omnipresent kaskars that were you know kaskar was a person guarding the yeah. cajus <laughs> thank you thank you aisen thanks so yeah, much you're welcome